Hey, what's up? I'm Dakota Blanchard, and today we're going to speed write and speed mix a song, and I'm going to show you guys the entire process. So I've already pre-set up uh, a few tracks here. These are just the guitar tracks, uh, I panned them left and right, the bass tracks, and the vocal tracks that we're going to be using. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to search through Cubase's stock drum grooves that they have. So I'm just going to type drum and I'm going to filter this by MIDI loops. Let's try to find something that has kind of intro, verse, chorus. See how some of these, their names are intro, verse. Uh, so let's go with this idle drums one because it seems like there's structure for each one of these. Sure. Uh, let's just throw all these in. Okay, now we're just going to listen to these and structure them. So I think I'm going to have this first verse go twice, and then we'll have one of these chorus groups come in. I think we'll have that chorus go twice also. We'll just keep it really simple. Uh, then I think we're going to do verse B. We'll do that twice, and then we'll go into chorus B twice. We'll take the intro drums, and we'll use those as our outro. So actually, I think I want this beginning part to go twice. And I think these verses, I'm gonna use as kind of like a pre-chorus thing. Now at the end of that, I'm just gonna throw a quick drum fill in to lead into the chorus. Uh, I think it's going to be a triplet fill, not 16, even though triplet. Yep. And we're just going to change the end here too. Okay, so we have our drum structure here. Okay, we're just gonna color code this real quick. Uh, first one, or the first two here, these are kind of like the intro verse. This is kind of like a, a pre-chorus. We'll go orange with that as well. Uh, chorus, we'll just do yellow. Um, oh, yeah, that's chorus. Chorus, we'll do yellow. Back to verse, chorus, and then this outro here, we'll just do back to orange. Uh, so that just helps differentiate where the choruses are in the verses. So we got the structure of the song done with the drums, uh, so I think it's time to throw some guitars on there. I'm kind of feeling like a country vibe with this. I mean, the name of the preset for the drums is country drums, so I think we're gonna go a little country with this one. I mean, I personally don't like country. I don't. I think I wrote one country song in my life and it was a joke song, so we'll see how this turns out. So I have my guitar, uh, it's plugged into my amp uh, that's going to a cab in the other room. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what country songs sound like. Do they have gain on them? Like, do they, are they, they're not distorted. I mean, I mean maybe a little overdrive? I don't know. I don't know what country songs sound like. Maybe like a... I think
think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, now that I'm writing chords, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to bring this little, what I said was a pre-chorus. I'm just going to double that twice. I don't know. I'm just going to hit record and see what we can do. I'll play some, some major chords over this and I don't know, maybe get a country song out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna change one more thing up. Um, I'm gonna make that second verse go a little bit longer. Um, I think that'll work a little better. So I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna take these, oh, I'm gonna move these over too. And I'm gonna bring these intro drums over right here. Just as a little after chorus kind of maybe jam. Maybe I'll throw some guitar leads over that. So you'll notice I didn't track the whole song and that's just because it's just the chorus again, and then just an outro. Uh, I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna cut up the guitars and copy and paste them over. Let's go, guitars right. Cool, so, guitars are tracked. I'm just gonna copy and paste those real quick. And we're gonna grab those, and move those over here. Then we're gonna cut the guitars from this chorus. And we're gonna bring these over here. I'm just gonna retract that for the outro just to give it a better ending. So let's do that. Right side. Tars done uh, on the base. Man, I wish I had like a cowboy hat or something. I feel like I would be digging this a lot harder if I had a cowboy hat on. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I hate country music. I don't know what you're doing, but I hate it. You like it? Yeah. We can just copy and paste the rest of the bass. Uh, so we got so quiet part, and gallopy part, uh, and then we have the chorus again. And then I'm just going to record this end real quick. What I did is I highlighted all these parts. I hit X, which crossfades them all. And then I have a key command here where I can just 
glue them all into one track just to make it look cleaner. You know what I just thought of? I didn't add any leads on guitar, so I think I'm going to hop back to guitar and throw some leads in now that we have the bass, the rhythm guitars, and the drums. It was pretty dumb of me to forget to put the guitar leads in, um, but that's what we're going to do right now. It's a country song, so we can't have a country song without slide guitar. Unfortunately, I don't have a real slide, so I think we're just going to use this lighter, and we're going to noodle around and see what we can add. I'm going to just place my guitar right on this table so everyone can see this slide action. Let's see, can I tune that at all? Maybe. Let's just like take these and we're gonna quantize them. I think I'm going to add some leads maybe over the chords and then maybe a jam session after the first chord. <laughs> I have no idea what that was, but uh, yeah, let's just re I, I, I like that, but I want to do that walk. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, there's a little jam, so then we're just going to take this chorus and we're going to move it to the next chorus. Okay, now we have our leads in here. Just going through and clean these up a little bit. I think we can go ahead and move on to throwing some vocals on this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go on Google and search song lyric generator. So we got genres. We're gonna go country. Okay, there's some questions. It's kind of like a Mad Libs. Is the song about a boy or a girl? Who should we write the song about, Ian? A boy or a girl? I feel like you gotta mix it up and do a boy. All right, we'll write this song about a boy. <laughs> Somebody you're devoted to. Jesus. Jesus. Je <laughs> An adjective to describe a truck. <laughs> Muddy. Something or somebody you miss dearly. Jesus. The back roads. <laughs> a place in the country. Tennessee. Two geographical features on the place above. Mountains and rivers. Two adjectives to describe those geographical features. Bulbous and wet. A color. It's a country color. Red. An adjective to describe somebody's hair. <laughs> a sound you hear in nature. Um, F-150. Something you shouldn't live your life like. Examples, a fool or a cheat. I'm just going to take their example, a cheat. A positive characteristic for a person. <laughs> Tall. <laughs> Alright, write my country song. Okay, now that we have our lyrics set, uh, I'm going to go in the other room. Ian's gonna man the controls, and I'm gonna throw some vocals on this. Country road. Okay, now that I just recorded those 
ridiculous lyrics. Um, we're going to hop over to the computer and I'm going to edit these and we're going to speed mix it as fast as we can. So let's go. Okay, so here we go. Vocals here. We did one main vocal. Then we have these harmony tracks, which are left and right. They are just harmonies over the chorus. And what I did ahead of time was I, just to save a little bit of time for this video, I went ahead and grouped together the harmonies, put them in a group track. That harmony group track plus the main vocal track is being routed into this all vocals track. All of the guitars are being routed into this guitar group channel track. And then these drums, if I do a drop down here, you can see all the individual aspects of the kit. And all of those are being routed into this all drums track. So let's get started with this speed mix. So I decided to speed this part of the video up just because I didn't want this video to be an hour long. The speed mix took me about a half hour. And I just want to clear up too, if this was something for a client or if this was something that was actually going to be put out, we would spend a lot more time getting things good on the way in because that's super important for having a good mix. And not only would we have spent more time getting things good on the way in, we would have gone a lot more in depth with the mix than what we did here. Should we make my voice deeper? I feel like my voice needs to be deeper for this. Uh, let's go. I think in the future I can make videos that are more in depth about the actual mixing process rather than this one which more focuses on the songwriting process. So I'm just gonna speed the rest of this video up even more just to make it a little bit quicker. Um, the audio for this song will be at the end of this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see, any questions, feel free to let me know, ask me, whatever. So here is the first ever country song uh, <laughs> that I've ever written. I've titled it Mr. Clean's Blue Jeans. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Listen to the F-150s all night 